came here from the University of Michigan to develop and direct the Center for Personalized Cancer Therapy. What is, I think, really great about the CPCT is that it's actually a joint venture between UMass Boston and the Dana-Farber Harvard Cancer Center. We're able to bring researchers from Dana-Farber with expertise in cancer care, cancer research, and experts from UMass Boston in various aspects of science and sociology, and to really build bridges and partnerships designed to do wonderful, innovative research. Because of the facilities that we were able to put together through the Center for Personalized Cancer Therapy, we're able to attract very high-level junior investigators from the Dana-Farber Harvard Cancer Center, most recently Dr. Shalja Pathania. I work on BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. The women have mutations in these genes. They have almost 80% chance of getting breast cancer. We now have, or will have, for the first time an insight into why these cells are becoming tumor cells. And having that information is critical in designing the preventive or even therapeutic strategies that can help reduce BRCA1 cancer or BRCA2 cancer. I have the, the right kind of collaborators around me. It's a perfect recipe to do some very innovative research that pushes the science further. For our project, there's no way we could do this work without the partnership of UMass Boston and the diversity that it brings and the expertise and community-based research. I think that UMass Boston has a little different position in developing the STEM pipeline than the private universities do. We started a program with UMass Boston called Set Sail for Success to help first-year students in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. One of the aspects about partnering with UMass Boston that was especially important to us at Harvard Pilgrim is the fact that its student population that it educates and that it graduates stay in this area. We have a really tremendous group of young, promising minority students. I have no doubt that they have a bright future, whether it's in cancer research or clinical care or leadership or community activism. Those are the kinds of leaders that we need in the Commonwealth and we're going to be ready with open arms and hands once they graduate from UMass Boston. The opportunities are there and UMass Boston is really making a difference to make them be ready.